All right. Had a busy day at work, and uh, I'm kind of late getting in here, but it's really hot. It's like 83 degrees right now, and it's hot because it's April. And uh, I'm sitting along a water hole. I'm sitting right next to a water hole this evening. And the cool part is, is the hogs will come in. Um, it just depends on if they're gonna come in before dark or after dark. I'm gonna have my Matthews, um, my new phase four. I really like that boat, it's a sweet shooting bow. Um, I think I've killed one hog with it so far. I've only hunted once and killed one hog. But, uh, so I need to break that thing in a little bit more. So we're gonna slip in here nice and quiet. Uh, and uh, we're sitting in a millennium tree stand. And I've got the water hole to my right and the wind should be good. Like I said, it just depends on when these hogs will come in. I'm thinking because it's so hot, they're gonna want that water. You know, hogs don't have sweat glands. That's why you'll always find them near water. They can't cool down like other animals where they just sweat. Um, they have to lay in the water, roll in the mud, and they need water. They can't be far from it. You're not typically gonna find hogs on dry land. You're gonna find them down in the swamps and rivers and creeks. And that's the reason for that. So let's slip in here and go try to kill one. Should have brought my tanning lotion. It is hot. Staring straight into the face of the sun. I'm waiting for that sun to go down behind these trees. It should cool off, but it is blazing hot right now. Some All right, I thought they were gonna come back in, but they didn't, they tore out of here. I wanted to shoot that bigger one, but there were just too many hogs lined up, and I was afraid the arrow was gonna go through and hit another one, and I'm just not into injuring animals of any kind. I want to make a perfect shot. I don't want to hurt something. So I might go ahead and climb down just while there's still plenty of light for me to blood through. I know she didn't go far. The perfect quarter away shot. Absolutely perfect. So she didn't go far with that Grim Reaper. 
I know it did some damage. I didn't see her go down, so we'll just give it a little bit, but probably give it about 10 minutes and climb down and look for her. Look where they've got these trees just completely rubbed. Look at this. They've got that rubbed smooth. And what they'll do is they'll roll in that mud and then they'll rub it on the trees, get it covering their skin, get a layer of that mud so it protects them from insects. Keeps the bugs off of them a little bit. There's my stand right there. As you can see, I'm kind of exposed. I'm pretty exposed, so I really had to keep my movement to a minimum. This is a broad head. Arrow. I'm telling you right now, if you hit them with a Grim Reaper, they will bleed. And these pigs are super tough, so we're only about 25 yards from where I shot her. But she's bleeding like crazy. I mean like crazy. Look at that. There she is. She went a little further than I thought. I mean, she only went about 75, 80 yards maybe. But further than I thought with that shot. Let's see where I hit her. I mean it looked perfect, felt perfect. red pig nice sow real pretty pretty hog healthy hog I believe that's the entrance and there's the exit maybe a little further back than I would have wanted to um, for a heart shot but I did the trick Good looking pig. So the problem is there's a road that's about 200 yards that way, and there's a road that's about 150 yards that way. So I guess I should drag her that way. Either way, I got a pretty good long drag. So I'm gonna get to work. So this was the perfect size female wild sow and uh, the meat looks phenomenal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do an Asian, like a sweet and spicy style Asian dish with this. And if you guys want the full recipe, we'll put a link to that in the description. But let's go ahead and get started. sit down to a meal that you know where the meat came from but let's go ahead and dig in and try this wild Asian pork mm. really good super tender got a little bit of heat to it <clears throat> that's that the red pepper flakes just a little bit of heat but really really good that's tremendous if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the next videos. Appreciate you joining us. Until next time, stay wild.